Hello Internet, my name is Laeve, I hope you're all safe and well. So I watched The Platform because two of you requested it, so shout out to Kel Hudson and QQNet, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Speaking of mispronouncing names, this is a Spanish film by a Spanish director, and I'm not even going to attempt to even pronounce their name, I'll just put it up here. So The Platform is a sci-fi horror thriller set in a vertical prison with two inmates per room, which has a hole running through the middle where food is periodically delivered to them on a platform. Those on the top floor get first dibs whilst those on the lower levels are left with the scraps, so it's not hard to imagine how the film develops. The film draws comparisons with Bong Joon-ho's Snowpiercer and more recently Ben Wheatley's adaptation of J.G. Ballard's High Rise, which are all just big metaphors reflecting and commentating on the social class system, but this does feel like its own thing, and if you'll forgive the pun, there are multiple levels to its allegories with stuff to say on on, on religion and consumerism amongst many other things. It all really depends on, on what you bring to the table in terms of your interpretation of it. You can also argue that it's a character study as it's told from the perspective of the main character, Goreng, who actually volunteers to go in in exchange for an accredited diploma. And we see the effects that it has on his psyche as it drifts in and out of his dreams and nightmares. He's really our way into the film or rather the audience's way into the film as the rule of the prison get explained to him by his cellmate when he first arrives like you can't keep the food once the platform has moved on they also get moved every month to a different level and also you'll get a new cellmate if something um happens to one or the other. They're also allowed to bring in one item and it's interesting that Goren brings in a book on Don Quixote, a, a book about madness and chivalry, which is interesting because Goren's own sanity and moral compass is put to the test. The film has a lean and mean one hour 30 minute runtime, so it never drags its heels, but it still manages to convey a sense of time, utilizing montages, which gives the effect of days blurring into one, which seems all too familiar at the moment with the current COVID-19 pandemic. I'm not sure what kind of budget this film had. I did have a look online and I couldn't find it anywhere, but I, I can't imagine it's in the hundreds of millions when you consider that the majority of it takes place in a concrete room. But that's not to say that it doesn't have ingenuity or that it's a dull looking film. As I mentioned earlier, there are consequences if they keep the food. So they have blue and red lights in their cells as warnings. And when the red light is on, it particularly makes it feel and look even more hellish than it already is. There's not much in the way of visual effects except when you look up or down through the hole and they've used CG to make it look like it goes much higher or much deeper than it really is but part of the mystery of the film is not knowing how many floors there actually are. I'm not entirely sure how the platform works in film it literally kind of floats down and then shoots back up. In terms of how they filmed it practically they've either digitally removed some of the wires holding it up or they filmed it in such a way that you can't see the machinery moving it as I will now demonstrate with my my amazing floating strawberry trick. The practical stuff is really convincing however when it gets violent it's really bloody and there's some terrific stunt work in there too. Whenever they get in fights or they punch each other or they hit each other with weapons you really feel the impact of whatever they're using. It's brutal. The only slight negatives I can think of and they really are only nitpicks is having praised the film for some of its editing and filming techniques earlier they do use a couple of crossfades at point like I get why they, they chose it is because they're trying to heighten that dreamlike delusional state that Goren is going through but it just cheapened the film a little bit and I know that the film is saying a lot and has got a lot of metaphors in it but I, I don't think there's any real subtlety to it I do like working to, to find the message in films sometimes but other than that it's a really tough and tight and thrilling and engaging film so that's my thoughts on the platform and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now. To be honest, it's probably not the best film to watch if you're trying to forget about isolation with the world the way it is at the moment, but it is a good film nonetheless. Thanks for the recommendation. If you've got any requests or recommendations yourselves, then drop me a comment on one of my videos and I'll try my best to do it. I've got a couple of other things in the pipeline. For now, it's really hot today and I'm absolutely roasting here. So I'm going to sign off and say thanks very much for watching this video. I really really do appreciate it. If you can, give it a like and don't forget to share the leave. Subscribe.